Hi. So students, uh, I will solve a couple of uh, more extra practice of the, uh, problems uh, related to the power amplifier chapters. So for the, uh, the first question is, uh, we have this circuit and uh, for the following amplifier circuit, the VCC is 17 volt. So this value is given 17 volt. Our B value is 5.2 kilo. So this is given 5.2 kilo. The current gain beta is 93. Calculate the value of RL. Okay, so we need to find this value. Get maximum possible efficiency of this power amplifier. Okay, so this is the constraint here. We need to find the value of RL. So we know that if you want to write the value of RL, okay, it will be this VCC minus the voltage here. Okay, so for the maximum possible efficiency, so maximum drop will be here. So basically, this will be connected to ground, so zero divided by this current. Okay, and we know that when we actually dealing with the maximum possible efficiency, power efficiency, so we make it half of that. Okay, so this is basically half is coming from this constraint. So RL is half VCC over IC. We know the value of VCC. So this will be half 17 over IC. So here we need to find the value of IC. So to get the value of IC from this given information, if we know this IB, we can calculate IC because we know that IC is basically beta times of IB. Beta we know is given. IB, okay, it will be VCC minus the drop here. Okay, so what is this drop? 0 0.7 divided by RB, this value. So 17 minus 0 0.7 divided by RB. RB is given 5.2 times 10 power 3 kilo. Okay, so IC will be 93 times this number. Okay, 17 minus 0 0.7 divided by 5.2 into 10 power 3. Okay, and this comes out to be 3.134. Okay, 3.3. Four multiply with ninety-three. Okay, milliampere. Okay, three point one three milli multiply by ninety-three. That will be the IC value. And now, if you plug in this IC value here, so we will get the value of RL. Okay, so if you plug in this number here, so value of RL it comes out to be twenty-nine point one six seven. Okay, so that is the value for this case. This is a circuit, similar kind of circuit. Now again, the VCC value is 17 volt. RB value is 14.6 kilo. RL value is given 3.9 ohm. And VB on, okay, VB on like this turn on voltage. This is 0 0.7, okay. So sometimes it will be mentioned. And if it is not mentioned, you can take the by default value, okay, 0 0.7. And beta is 101. This is a given information. Calculate the maximum dissipated power. So we have to calculate the maximum dissipated power. Okay. So maximum dissipated power is actually what? V out. Okay. Times the IC. Okay. That is the maximum dissipated power. So in this case, we need to find V out and IC. So this is V out. So what is the formula for V out? So here V out will be VCC. This voltage drop minus the voltage drop across this resistor. So IC times R. Okay. So now we need the value of IC. Right. So VCC we know that this is given. 17 minus IC times RL value is given 3.9. Okay, so to get V out, we need ICC. And IC we know that is basically 
based on given information beta times IB. Okay, beta is 101 and IB will be again this voltage VCC 17 minus a drop here 0 0.7 divided by this resistance 14.6 K. Okay, so this is the value of IC. Okay, so actually this comes out to be 101 and this is basically become 1.116 times 10 power minus 3. Okay, so you can simplify more. Okay, so now here you know the value of IC. You can plug in this value here and you will get the value of V out. Okay, and also you can use the same value here. I see. Okay, so if I write the power dissipation, that will be V out. V out is basically what? 17 minus IC. IC is what? This value. Okay, 101, 1.116. Okay, this is basically IC times RL, 3.9 times IC again this number so you can simplify and you can do use it directly I'm just writing it as it is so the answer will be 1.87 watt okay so this is the maximum dissipated power let's see the next question we have an amplifier and uh, with a speaker of 6 ohm okay so this uh, speaker is have a resistor of 6 ohm okay it's given calculate the value of vceq we need to find the value of this okay vceq and you know that we have this uh, dc line characteristics for such cases so basically this is the point of vceq which we have to find in this case given that vcc is 11 volt vcc is 11 volt beta is 27 for example these are the given values re is 9 ohm this value is 9 ohm. Transformation ratio is 6 to 1. Okay. So here, what is the transformation ratio? 6 to 1. Right. And the value of IC is given. Okay. This is the given value of IC. This is also given. Okay. And our target is here to calculate the VCEQ. So if you write the formula for VCEQ here, so that will be basically what? Okay, from this uh, equation, so how we can get uh, this value here? So VCEQ is basically the drop here, okay, and the drop here, right? VC minus VE, that is the drop here at the Q point. Now here, we see, okay, that uh, uh, we can find easily, okay, that is basically the current uh, which is flowing through here, okay. In our case, that is basically given. So VC is basically connected here through this transformer, okay, so this is basically 11 volt minus VE, the voltage drop here. So here voltage drop will be this current ICQ which will be flowing through here times the value of RE. Okay. So we know the value of this RE also. So this is basically 11 minus ICQ times RE is, is given 9 ohm. Okay. So, so we are left with this value. So now we need to find ICQ. So if we can find the ICQ, we can get our desired uh, VCEQ. Okay. So what is ICQ here? So if you look at the formula, the given case, okay, this is the given IC. Okay. So IC we know that. So this is a basically component of DC current plus the AC current, right? So basically ICQ value is given here. So for this case, the ICQ value is actually what? 61.6. Okay, DC. 
ICQ DC plus the AC component. Okay, so this is basically the AC component here. Okay, the uh, the AC component which we can get here. So this is basically the ICQ this level that is actually given here. So we can use this one. So that will be basically eleven minus sixty one point six. Okay, so this is a unit of milliampere. Okay, so ten power minus three multiply with nine. Okay, so VCEQ will be ten point four five volt here. Okay, so that is ten point four five. Okay, this is given sixty one point six. Okay, so based on this given information, we can get this VCEQ here. Question. We have similar kind of configuration. Now the question is calculate connected to a series speaker of 8.2 ohm. So this is 8.2 ohm. Calculate the peak value VP. We have to find the peak value voltage. This one, okay? Like in the shift, when there is a basically a curve, okay, we see EQ. We can go by maximum this value or by this value. So we have to find this one. Basically, the AC value, okay, the peak AC value we have to find. The given information is VCC is 11 volt, transistor gain is 29, RE value this here is 17 ohm, transformer friction ratio again is 6 into 1, okay, 6 into 1, and again IC is given 68.7, okay, this is basically ICQ value, this is given. And this is the this AC value, okay? The peak value of the AC which we can have here, okay? So like this is a small IC, okay? That is basically that one. Now our target is to get the VP. That what will be the maximum uh, this AC value, okay? So that uh, basically will be the drop across the RL prime. So we can calculate basically that is a, a voltage drop across your load okay how the load will fluctuate so the drop basically here okay so like if you look from this side so we can have rl prime okay so the drop across that okay for the flowing current so that is basically the output fluctuation so vp basically can be written as what will be the vp the current flowing through this Multiply with this resistor, RL prime. Okay, so how we can calculate IC value? Okay, is given. Okay, remember we are talking about the AC voltage calculation. Okay, this is the AC voltage. So this AC voltage value. So look at this equation. This is the DC part, capital ICQ, and this is the AC voltage part. Okay, like this is a fluctuation, and this is given. That is basically 22 milliampere. So this is given 22 milli AC part. We need to find the value of RL prime. Okay, so RL prime we can calculate like the impedance seen at this end. So that will be A square times this RL. And A can be calculated as the ratio is 6 into 1. Okay, so A will be what will be the A here? 6 divided by 1, 6. So using this 6 square times RL 8.2 okay 8.2 so this answer will comes out 36 times 8.2 that will be 295 295.2 oh. so you can plug this thing here so that will become basically VP will become 22 times 10 power minus 3 times 295.2 okay so this voltage will become 6494.4 milli volt okay that will become okay this much milli volt so this is the way to calculate this. So the key is here, you should uh, make uh, try to understand that what exactly we have to calculate. So we have to calculate AC 
वोल्टेज है सो एसी वोल्टेज इज बेसिकली एसी करंट टाइम्स आर एल प्राइम एसी करंट इज गिवन के एसी पार्ट इज गिवन आर एल प्राइम वी कैन गेट यूजिंग दिस फार्मूला एंड देन वी कैन प्लग इन एंड गेट द डिजायर्ड राइट द नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेम कॉन्फिगरेशन स्पीकर इज 6.6 Now the question is calculate maximum efficiency in percentage. Given that VCC is 14 volt, again beta is this one, RE is 7 ohm. Transfer matrix ratio is same. Okay, so basically A is 6, and this is the given current. Okay, this is given for this case. So again from this we can get that basically ICQ is basically 53.6. Okay, and that is basically the AC part. Now here you have to calculate the efficiency. So what is efficiency? Efficiency is basically your. I'm sorry. We need to write the efficiency formula. So efficiency is load power over supplied power multiplied with hundred. Okay. So we need to find these two things. Okay. Supplied power and the load power. So supplied power is what basically you know that VCC times IC Q. So what is VCC in our case? Fourteen volt. What is IC Q? Okay, the DC value fifty three point six. So supplied power comes out to be again fifty three point six milli. Okay, don't forget the unit. So this will be zero point seven five zero watt. Okay. And uh, we have to calculate load power. Okay, so the standard formula half. Okay, AC load power times the VC. Okay, AC load voltage. Right. So that is the formula. And uh, we know that basically what is the value of AC current? That is given. Right. This is the value of the AC current. Twenty one point three milli. Right, and uh, we know that V L is basically the voltage drop here, and that is basically that current I P times the resistance seen by this R L prime, right? So, or in other words, I can write this. So basically, when V L P is put here, so that will become I P square times the R L prime. That is the load power. So R L prime is actually what A square resistance seen by this end times the R L. So six square times the six point six. Okay, that will be R L prime. And eventually our load power will be what half I L P. Okay, load power that is basically twenty one milli. Square times this R L prime, okay? So thirty six times six point six. That comes out to be two thirty seven point six, okay? So our load power will become zero point zero five two watt. So we get both. We get load power. We have supplied power. So efficiency will be zero point zero five two divided by supplied power, which is zero point Seven five zero multiplied with hundred, and that comes out to be six point nine eight percent. Okay, so this is the way to solve such questions. If, for example, AC uh, this uh, DC value and AC values are not given, we have solved couple of example in the class, so we can get those. But like if these are things are given, so this is a procedure to get the answers. I hope it is clear, and you can solve. Uh, more example from the book thank you very much